G. Welcome back to my channel. I think you may have heard my sidekick, Donna Jean, in the background saying the intro with me. Oh, there she is. It's Sunday, so she is home and can do the intro with me. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn, and I'm coming at you today with a Sunday Walgreens haul. Super excited, of course, to share this one with you. As every single week comes, we get all kinds of new deals. Uh, and this week is no exception. There are a ton of deals this week at Walgreens. But I will tell you, I had my focus on one deal. I wanted to test it out and see if it worked. If you are new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there so I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you're planning on doing any Walgreens shopping this week. All right, so the one deal that I really wanted to test out, uh, super duper skeptical of this deal, but it is in the ad and it is spend 50 on P&G products, earn $10 in Walgreens cash. Now this deal has been running for a little while with a little variation to it. I believe it did say earn $10 in Walgreens cash previously, but what actually was happening was a $10 off your next PNG coupon was actually printing out. Um, pretty much that coupon's not scanning for anybody except for, I think it was Sonia who emailed me and said last week she grabbed the Scott, uh, not Scott, the bounty paper towel that was $6.99 and it was on that promotion for buy two earn a $4 register board and her $10 PNG coupon did scan. So, now it says earn $10 in Walgreens cash. And it also says buy three um, products, mix and match, and you earn a $5 register reward. And the ad actually says buy three products, mix and match, earn a $5 register reward, and spend $10, spend $50, earn $10 in Walgreens cash. So that's why I'm highly skeptical, but I definitely want to test this out we got some awesome PNG products that we can stock up on. And if it does work, it would be a fantastic deal. So we are going to head into the store, pick up $50 worth of PNG products, and see if this dang thing works. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's head into Walgreens. Woo! All right. We are here in the Walgreens to do a hopefully an awesome deal. I am working with a spend 50 on $7 in Walgreens cash digital booster that I received. And my focus is to do this PNG transaction that says spend 50, earn $10 in Walgreens cash. It also says purchase three items, mix and match and earn a $5 register reward. I'm a little skeptical, but we're gonna test it. These are not tagged in my store, but they are actually on sale for $6.99. So I'm gonna grab two of these Sherman six equals 24. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a package of a bounty, the four equals eight. That is also on sale for $6.99. And I had a digital coupon show up today for $8 off when I purchased three. Check your accounts, this is an only for you. So a lot of accounts will get it, but not all accounts will get it. All right, so we need to spend $50 in PNG products. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, Tide, the PNG laundry deal, the Tide deal, which is, although it's not marked, it is buy three at $4.99 and get one free. So I'm gonna grab a Tide liquid for $4.99. I'm gonna grab a Tide pods for $4.99. And then I'm gonna move over and grab this big bottle of um, fabric softener for $4.99. And then I was so dang excited because I saw my store had the downy dryer sheets, which are also included and $4.99. Now the problem is I'm scanning every single product in the app. Although this is part of the buy three, get one free, 
promotion that Walgreens has going on, it is not pulling up that it is part of the spend 50, earn 10. Neither are the dryer sheets. Every other product I have scanned is. Now these unstoppables are showing spend 50, earn $10 in Walgreens cash. So I'm gonna grab those and then I'm gonna just go ahead and grab another Tide liquid as my free item. And unfortunately we have no digital coupons for these products. So I'm gonna use the paper coupons from the April PNG, $1 off the unstoppables. I'm gonna use one $2 off the Tide pods and one $2 off the Tide liquid. So now I'm at about th just over $35. And of course I'm not counting in the free item because it will ring up literally as zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and add to this some Gain laundry products. I really wanted to get some of the Gain laundry detergent, but when I scan the laundry detergent, it is not pulling up that it is part of that spend 50 earn 10. However, the flings are. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two packages of the Gain flings. And the gain is on sale four for $16. And the fabric softener was also pulling up that it was part of the spend 50 earn 10 and also part of the four for $16. So I grabbed these four gain products. So now my total for all of these products is $51.94. I have one paper coupon that I can use on the gain products. My Walgreens are very strict on coupon limits, so I can just use one, which is totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use this paper spend booster for spend 30 or $7 in Walgreens cash. So we know with these, I cannot use any Walgreens cash to pay. And I'm gonna use a $4 register reward, a $2 register reward, and another $4 register reward since I don't have coupons attaching to my gain products. Now, again, I am highly skeptical of this P&G deal. I'm not sure, but that's why I'm testing it out to let you know. And these are all fantastic products to have. So we're gonna go ahead and check out with this. And I did a couple other little things that I will show you, but we are going to get to the kitchen table and see how everything worked out. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this huge P&G deal. Oh my gosh, so many great products. I love all of the products I got. And I did do one other just quick transaction that I will show you. I did not film that in the store. So as I showed you in the ad, and you can go ahead and look in the ad, it says purchase three products earn a $5 register reward and spend $50 in PNG products, earn back $10 in Walgreens cash. So I went ahead and I spent $50. We had $51.94. And I think I already told you in the store, but I literally was scanning every single product. So weird that when I would scan the um, downy fabric softener, the liquid fabric softener, that was not showing spend 50, earn 10. Same thing with the Gain liquid laundry detergent. So I stayed away from those because I already was skeptical enough about this deal. I didn't want to grab a wrong product and have something weird happen. So um, because I was dealing with so many different PNG products in this transaction and wanting to use a few register rewards, which we know can kick out our ding digital coupons, um, what I decided to do I had a great cashier today. Actually, if you caught my video last week where I had a really bad transaction at Walgreens because of a super nasty cashier, he was there today. I found a different cashier. I said, I'm really sorry. I know you're busy, but I had a really bad experience with that cashier last week. He was extremely rude to me. You're always very kind to me. Would you mind checking me out? And she was super happy to check me out. So because I know how the PNG coupons can act and attach to whatever products they want to, what I did was I said, if you don't mind just doing this for me, I really would appreciate it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scan the product and then we're gonna scan the coupon right after it just to make sure it attaches to exactly the right product. And she was like, oh sure, no problem. So I handed her over a Tide Liquid, and then we scanned the Tide Liquid coupon. Handed her over a Tide Pods, scanned the Tide Pods coupon. Handed her over the Downy, scanned the Downy coupon. Handed her a Gain, scanned the $1 Gain coupon. Then I handed her the next Gain, and I had her scan a Register Reward. 
Then I hand her, handed her the next skein and had her scan the other register reward. And then the last skein and had her scan the register reward. Then she rang up my three paper products left, which of course I didn't have any paper coupons. I was just counting on my three or my $8 digital coupon to come off. So let's take a look at my receipt. So there's my Tide, there's my Tide Pods, there's my Downy. And then my Tide Liquid rang up for free because I had her scan that one last. Then even though I had her scan all of the gain coupons, it did put these up here first. And there's my Bounty. There's my two gain um, liquid fabric softeners at $8 and then the two gain flings at $4 each. Had her scan the points coupon for spend 30, earn seven, and look at what happened. All of my coupons show gain. <laughs> Every one of them. Even though we literally, I, I didn't even have any gain products yet. Scanned the Tide, scanned the Tide coupon. They all attach to the gain. Oh my gosh. There's my digital coupon. It did come off for $8 off of the um, paper products. And then I used those two $4 register rewards and a $2 register reward I showed you in the store. My subtotal was $27.94. Remember, I have to pay that because I'm using a points, um, a paper spend booster. Of course, I just used my PayPal debit card. So it's just rebate money that I'm turning into, I'm recycling into store money. Here's what I earned back. I ripped my receipt a little. $14 in Walgreens cash. I earned seven for spending 50, my digital points booster, and I earned seven for spending um, for spending 30, my paper points booster. I did not earn a $5 register reward, nor did I earn the $10 in Walgreens cash for spending the $50. Oh my gosh. Now, this transaction still would not be a bad transaction because of what I got. You already know I sell, I can, I resell some of my stockpile. So I will definitely make my money back for selling all of this. Um, but obviously I wouldn't do this transaction had it not been giving an additional $15 in rewards. So I did contact customer service. I have not contacted customer service in about two months because everything has gone so fantastic at Walgreens. Uh, I did a web chat, which is what I always do. The customer service agent said, I'll go ahead and issue you $5 in Walgreens cash for your register reward at printing. I said, what about the $10 for spending 50 on P&G products? And she said, you used coupons, which dropped you below your $50 spend requirement. And I said, well, unless that just changed today, which even if it did just change today, I said, I had a points coupon for spend 50, earn $7 in Walgreens cash on my account, but my coupons dropped me below the $50 spend and I still earned it because it's always before coupons. She said, no, it didn't change. It's always been like that, but she would go ahead and issue me back the $10 in Walgreens cash as a one-time courtesy. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so this transaction turned out awesome after customer service gave me back $15 in Walgreens cash. However, I would not recommend doing this transaction because it doesn't work. I was super, super skeptical that it was going to work and it didn't work. I didn't get the, the register reward. I didn't get the Walgreens cash. So I paid $27.94 in a subtotal, but you know I'm going to add back my register rewards because I always add those back in since I count them when I earn them. So it was $37.94 is what this transaction cost me. I earned the $14 back in Walgreens cash that I just showed you on my receipt. And then customer service issued me $15 in Walgreens cash, which means I earned back $29 in rewards for this transaction. So it would make my cost $8.94. And that is for 11 items, 11 laundry and paper product items. I think two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Yeah, 11 items. That breaks them down to just 81 cents each. That's fantastic. However, I won't do this deal again 
And again, I would not recommend you doing this deal because it's not working the way the ad is stating that it should work. So there you go. I tested out the spend 50, earn $10 in Walgreens cash and the buy three products, earn a $5 register reward, which neither one of them worked. Um, I really want to do another spend deal because my other account had a spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. My store was totally out of the Axe body wash, which I really wanted to do because that would be a great deal, especially with that high value digital coupon we just got today. I did want to do the Dove deal. I am actually working on my husband's Ibotta. Uh, it expires today for the April showers bonus, and I just need a few more rebates for his, which is $5. So I did go ahead and pick up the Maybelline because it is on promotion. So Maybelline is buy any two earn back a $5 register reward. And I had an Ibotta rebate for $2 back on um, the eyeliner. And then I did go ahead and do the Dove deal just to show you that again. I know I talked about it last week and I know it's super confusing, but you have to know what's happening with your rewards so that you don't miss out on other rewards. So I did the two dub. The coupon literally says buy one dub, get a men's free. So I got the men's, even though I would have rather had two of the women's. And then two Maybelline eye products. I used that paper coupon that we just got today. And then I had a $4 digital off of two Maybelline products. So my subtotal was $12.48. I used $10 in Walgreens cash, paid $2.48 subtotal. Again, used my PayPal debit card. Look at this. Look at this. This is gonna have all kinds of trouble scanning, OMG. Here's my register reward for my Maybelline. Uh, and you can see it says manufacture coupon right on it. And I did submit my receipt to Ibotta for $2 back on that. And then here is my not register reward because this is not a register reward. It is a store coupon. It literally says store coupon on it, which means this will come off as a $4 off a $4 purchase. I showed you exactly that last week. And I feel really bad because several people commented, because I told you, do not let those store coupons screw up your spend deals, because they will. Several of you did the hair care deal last week of spend 20, earn five. And you used this, which will lower your spend amount because it is a store coupon. It acts the same as a percent off coupon. It acts the same as an IVC. It cannot be counted towards any spend amount. So another thing that, that I've been asked several times, is this new? No, you guys, this is not new. Ever since I've been couponing at Walgreens, uh, probably 18 months now, they've always had these. They have always had store coupons. They look like a register reward, but you can see it's shorter than my actual register reward. And it says store coupon. This is not new. This is not something Walgreens just rolled out. They have always had these. They go through spurts where some things in the ad say register rewards, but they're actually a store coupon. And then we don't see them for a while. So I think it's easy to forget about it. But as I told you so many times, whenever we are looking at deals in the ad that are off multiple manufacturers, it's never going to be a register reward. It is going to actually be a store coupon. So be really, really careful of that. So there you go. That's what I got for you today. I had one focus. I wanted to test out the PNG deal. It did not work. So I would not recommend doing it. I'm glad customer service took care of me, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you and I'm gonna see you again soon.